Orlando woman has filed a class action lawsuit against Frontier Airlines over their bag policy. The lawsuit alleges deceptive or misleading practices in advertising. Claiming passengers with bags that meet the airline's personal item size have been forced to check their bags at the gate incurring a $100 fee. $100 was... I think almost as much as I paid for the flight. Amira Hamid says she used to fly Frontier about 90% of the time. Because of the price. But in May, she took a flight from Orlando to North Carolina for a graduation and was told she'd have to pay for the bag she planned to take on as her personal item. When I told them, you know, I fly with this bag all the time, like I don't understand, um, they told me basically, you have no choice but to pay the $100 or you're not getting on the flight. In the lawsuit, photos show Hamid's bag didn't fit in Frontier's bag sizer, but did fit in Spirits, which they allege falls into the same dimensions required for a personal bag on Frontier. And the lawsuit is claiming Hamid isn't the only passenger something like this has happened to, pointing to viral social media videos about Frontier charging for bags. But what we're learning now is that Frontier incentivizes it for those agents who are charging you and they're making money. Frontier sending us a statement saying, quote, it is simply an incentive for our airport customer service agents to help ensure compliance with our policies and that all customers are treated equally. Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. So today we are going to be talking about something that I have wanted to talk about for a couple of weeks now. So today we are going to be talking about Frontier and the class action lawsuit that was filed last month due to their baggage scam. If you are anything like me, you've probably seen Frontier going viral on social media sites like TikTok, specifically for charging customers $100 at the gate for bags that properly fit into their bag sizer, but they were saying that they didn't fit. You've probably seen about 50 to 100 videos where people film themselves at the airport putting their carry-on item, like their personal bag, in Frontier's bag sizer just for Frontier reps to say that it doesn't fit. And when I say Frontier reps, I mean like the customer service agent. We were seeing a lot of issues where people were putting their bag in the bag sizer. It fit properly. Then Frontier reps were saying that it didn't. So a lot of people were arguing with the rep and a lot of issues were revolving that where people were having to pay $100 per personal item that did not fit in the bag, but a lot of people were showing that it fit in the bag, like it fit in the bag sizer, and then they would still charge them the $100. So recently we actually found out by a statement from Frontier that there is an incentive for their customer service agent where they're paying them $10 every single time that they find a bag at the gate that does not fit and therefore charges $100 to the customer. So that customer service agent, if they're charging you $100, they're essentially making $10 off of that. So I personally feel like this is my opinion due to these service agents being incentivized. I speculate that that is is a huge reason why they're stating that bags aren't fitting even though we know that they are. So here are a couple of TikTok videos that show proof of what I'm talking about that gate agents are charging passengers $100 even when their bag fits in the bag sizers. So keep in mind there are a lot more videos than the videos that I'm going to show you but here are just a couple examples. My bag is clearly fitting and they're not letting me in. This woman right here um my fingers started bleeding they closed the doors on me and she held on to my personal property for too long <laughs> let me go get the police for this situation right now let me go ahead and call 911 inside the personal items i'm gonna take a miss louisa over here has said that it doesn't fit and is making me uh pay for a check-in her Fitting bag fits in, so what's the issue? The, board, the bag size and you can record it. She just squeezed it in. No, it does not fit. My yeah, bag yeah. is in there. It fits, we just saw it fit. So go so record what? it then, if it fits. Alright, uh, we can record it. Go ahead. So what's the issue now? Okay, so I need you guys to move out the way. We're trying to get on, the, on our flight though, you know what I mean? You're not going on the <laughs> We're not going on the flight now? No. Because you already what? boarded it's a security. I already you boarded what? I, I'm not gonna leave my partner. Does that make any matter. does that even make any logical sense, ma'am? Do you make logical sense? How is that a rebuttal? What? You don't have You're not unprofessional you sound right now? Do you make logical sense? That's what I you said? Now you need security? Yes, because you're being crazy. I'm being what? Crazy? Did I I'm being crazy because I'm asking for a logical explanation why we can't get on the plane. If you turn the camera around, you're uh -huh. it. It's uh -huh. in the thing. We we're just it's it's in there right now, ma'am. This doesn't fit, she said. What's your name, ma'am? I just called you this. Did I say 
She said, did I start? <laughs> she thinks she hurt. You know what I'm saying? Can you bring her a new boarding pass? It's not going. I mean, it's showing up there that I... Yeah, just pay. Now she's saying it's not showing up. Area currently down in Orlando. The reporting wind out of the south. I get that fits inside here. And I'm not being let on this flight. I don't understand what's going on. No, no, no. Once again, here is my bag that fits inside here. Of my personal item that we left Orlando with it looked exactly like this I put it in just like this and he said it didn't fit then when we left New York and came back I did the exact same thing and the guy said yep that's fine you're good to go and no issues so now Frontier, I want my money back. As you can see, a lot of people were paying $100 at the gate for bags that actually fit in the bag sizer. So with all of that being said, there was a class action lawsuit filed June 29th of 2023 by Amira Hamad. And I wanna break down that lawsuit and everything that is going on because it goes much deeper than the gate agents charging customers for bags that fit in the bag sizer. It goes way deeper than that. And the lawsuit is really great at going in depth with that. So at the beginning of the lawsuit where they state what the complaint is, it says that, quote, Frontier falsely misled the plaintiff and numerous other consumers and continues to mislead consumers into believing that they are purchasing low airfare when in fact Frontier makes up whatever discount to give consumers in fraudulent and unwarranted charges. In some some instances, a carry-on piece of luggage costs as much as four times the cost of a checked bag. Frontier's bait and switch and gotcha tactics are designed to confuse, trick, and trap consumers to the public's detriment. As an example of this blatant arrogance, Frontier purports to allow one personal item on board for free if it is no more than 14 inches tall, 18 inches wide, and 8 inches deep, but uses a measuring instrument at its gates that is drastically smaller than those dimensions mentions and charges consumers excessive fees to check items that do not fit inside the skewed bag sizer, even when the items are undoubtedly not in excess of those personal item dimensions that it advertises. They continue on to say that Frontier even incentivizes its gatekeepers by providing them bonuses for each personal item that they charge at the gate. The actions and omissions of the defendant constitute fraud and violate the Florida's Deceptive Trade Practices Act and Consumer Protection Act and are in breach of the understandings between Frontier and the plaintiff and similarly situated consumers. So as you can see in that beginning portion of the complaint, you can see that not only are people being charged clearly for bags that fit in the bag sizer, but there has been an issue where people are alleging that the Frontier bag sizer at the gate is actually smaller than the allotted size that they are supposedly allowed to have. So like I stated before, they are allowed to bring a personal item on Frontier airplanes for free if it is at least 14 inches tall, 18 inches wide, and eight inches deep. So that's like the largest size you can bring on the flight. So the issue that people are are having with this and this specific person who started this class action lawsuit is having is that her bag was that exact dimension but some reason did not fit in the Frontier bag sizer. So they speculated that the Frontier bag sizer at the gate was actually smaller allowing them to charge people that actually had the correct bag size but being able to charge them because their bag sizer is not the correct size itself. So the lawsuit actually showcases a photo from Frontier's website where they show that you're allowed one personal item as long as it's not larger than the 14 inches in height 18 inches in width and 8 inches in depth like I already said it also states that your handles wheels and straps also have to fit in the bag sizer in order to be allowed on the plane as a personal free item now on Frontier's website they also do state that you will be subject to charges at the gate if your bag is bigger than the size that they state you're allowed to have but they failed to actually mention what the cost will be which now we know is a hundred dollars so many people were actually surprised when they hear it's a hundred dollars especially when they can clearly see that either their bag fits or is within the proper sizing but somehow doesn't fit now that they're at the gate so they showed proof of this by actually sharing photos of amira's bag that is within the allowed bag size somehow not fitting in frontier's bag sizer so amira is extremely smart and she actually decided to go over to spirit airlines 
kids and measure her bag with their bag sizer because Spirit actually has the same sizing requirements as Frontier does. So you would assume that if her bag didn't fit in Frontier's bag sizer, it's also not gonna fit in Spirit's because they have the same size requirements, right? When Amira actually went over to Spirit and put her bag in Spirit's bag sizer, it fit perfectly. I mean, like it was made for the bag sizer. So this has made people extremely skeptical of Frontier, assuming that not only do they force people to pay $100 for bags that clearly fit in the sizer, but now, the sizer is not even the proper size. So people who are boarding their flight with the proper sized bag is having to pay $100 because all of a sudden the bag doesn't fit in their bag sizer. Let's count how many times I say bag sizer in this video. So I know personally for me, if this was me, I would be extremely frustrated. So I know that many people do in-depth research before purchasing luggage to like ensure that it's going to fit within the requirements. I know for me, before I purchased my luggage, I know that I fly Southwest 99% of the time. So I took weeks to research different type of luggages, make sure that the luggage would fit in the requirements needed if I decided to use a carry on. So I feel like a lot of people put time and effort into purchasing luggage. And a lot of people do go onto the websites like the airlines websites to ensure that the bag or size of a carry on that they have will fit so that they don't get charged for things like that. So I can only imagine knowing that your bag is the proper size show to just like show up to frontier, be at the gate, go to board, the person says, no, you need to put your bag in the bag sizer and all of a sudden it doesn't fit and then you're being charged $100. So I know for me, I would be extremely frustrated if I was ever in that type of situation. So back to the lawsuit. Furthermore, the lawsuit alleges that Frontier's baggage fee structure is misleading and designed to trick customers into paying the maximum amount of fees at the airport while providing no refunds for baggage fees. They end their long list of allegations by saying, quote, Frontier is simply disingenuous about its baggage fees and what is included in the fares it's charging to customers, end quote. So as I mentioned before, this is a class action lawsuit, meaning that they are not only prepared to represent Amira, but they are prepared to represent anybody that has been harmed by Frontier. The lawsuit states, quote, the plaintiff asserts that thousands of consumers have been and are being impacted by Frontier. The widespread impact of Frontier's actions is evidenced by social media posts referencing Frontier's baggage fees. So this lawsuit did include TikTok videos to show how large this issue is and that Amira isn't the only one that's experiencing it. Because in order for it to be a class action lawsuit, they are trying to prove like, hey, Amira is not the only one that's had an issue with this. She's not the only person that's been harmed. Look at all of these TikTok videos. So they definitely made sure in the lawsuit to do that and to reference a bunch of the TikTok videos, specifically the ones that got really large on TikTok. So now that we have gone over the most important aspects of the lawsuit and really what the issue is and why the lawsuit started, I wanna review the type of relief that this lawsuit is looking for. So most of the time, when I read over lawsuits like this, the plaintiff will normally ask for a specific amount of money in order to be paid out to the people that have been harmed. So that's kind of what I was assuming was going to be a big aspect of what they're wanting from this lawsuit. In the lawsuit, they're actually requesting a very long list of things. Let's just go over all of them. I'm gonna summarize them to the best of my ability, but there is a lot and it's a very long list. I think it goes up to like two pages in total. So number one, they are requesting that Frontier discontinue the unfair and deceptive trade practices, which is a given request by this lawsuit. Number two, that Frontier disclose its fee structure clearly and conspicuously. Three, that Frontier discloses and clearly posts its personal item dimensions on its bag sizers at the gates of the airports in which it operates. Number four, that Frontier posts its baggage fees everywhere the consumer would see. So they want to ensure that people are seeing it, like when you're on the website, when you're booking, when you're checking out, when you're looking at anything that has to do with booking with Frontier, they want you to be able to see, hey, this is the requirements for this checked bag and this is how much you're gonna be charged. They don't want in the little parentheses that Frontier has right now where it says you may be subject to charges. No, you're gonna be subject to $100 of a charge, which is a large chunk of money for a lot of people. So this lawsuit, if it goes through, they want that to be something that is posted all over Frontier's website and is talked about when people are booking through their site. Number five, they require that Frontier discloses the dimensions of the bag sizer online in airports and at its gate. Number six, they want Frontier to inform consumers 
consumers that they are not the lowest fare and that personal items are not included in its fare. Number seven, they want Frontier to reimburse the plaintiffs for actual damages under the Florida statute. Number eight, they want Frontier to reimburse the plaintiff for any fees that relate to the fraudulent conduct. Number nine, they order that Frontier pays all statutory fines under the laws of Florida for the amount of $10,000 for each violation. Number 10, they want Frontier to pay all attorneys fees and essentially any other fee that was incurred by the lawsuit and any damages that were done to the plaintiff. Lastly, and most importantly, they want Frontier to pay punitive damages in the amount of, and not less than, keep that in mind, not less than $100 million for the blatant, malicious, and intentional nature of the defendant's gross misconduct to deter the defendant and other airlines from further similar conduct as provided under the Florida statute. Woo, that was a tongue twister, I feel. So to summarize this lawsuit, they are alleging frontier of lying and misleading consumers into not only paying fees for bags that fit in the bag sizer, but for allegedly shrinking the bag sizer at the gate, costing people to spend $100 per item, and then by those people paying $100 per item, their customer service agent will be getting $10 of each bag that they get at the gate. So if Frontier is found guilty or they settle, the plaintiff is looking for Frontier to clearly fix its website so that people can clearly see that the baggage fee will be $100 at the gate. Then they want them to actually fix the bag sizer because as we've seen, if the plaintiff's bag fit in Spirit's bag sizer, that is supposedly the same size as the Frontier one, but completely doesn't even fit in that bag. They want them to re-input what the bag sizer actually is, like what size it actually is, or change their policy altogether because allegedly, they are alleging, that they shrunk the bag sizer. So lastly, with this lawsuit to summarize, they clearly want Frontier to pay for violating Florida law, along with paying the punitive damages of $100 million. So to end this video, I want to go over my personal opinion on this case. Keep in mind that this section is purely my opinion and it is not fact. I would also love to know in the description down below, what is your opinion? I would love to know if this happened to you at Frontier or if a similar thing has happened. And I would also be curious to know if you have seen people also talking about this because I know when I started hearing people talk about this, I was like, oh my gosh. And I had to look into it deeper. So let me know if you have also seen people talking about this. So my opinion, as I've stated before, before, I have seen countless videos where people are being charged $100 per bag for bags that clearly fit in the bag sizer. So I feel like many people who book with Frontier or for example, Spirit, they're booking that airline most of the time because it's a more inexpensive way of flying. It's cheaper flights. So it's just easier for people to fly with Frontier because their prices seem to be cheaper online. So a lot of people who are flying with Frontier don't have just $100 lying around to pay for baggage fees. They specifically booked with Frontier so that they did not have to spend a bunch of extra money on luggage and stuff like that. Even think Delta. And Delta's expensive to me. Delta's actual checked baggage fees were less than that because one time I had to book with them and I think I only spent like $60 to check two bags or something like that. So even other airlines that are more expensive have cheaper fees for baggage. So I know personally when I fly, I plan every little detail out. It's like a little insane, but that's just me. I know there are people like me. I know there are people that plan out every detail. They ensure that their personal bag is going to fit within the proper requirements to get on the flight. And I can only imagine how stressful flying can be. And then this to happen, uh-uh. I would be fuming. Or I would personally feel pressured, like I would just pay the money and then be fuming afterwards because I'm just someone who doesn't like, you know, confrontation. I don't know. I would be, I would be that person. I would get extremely anxious. I would probably just pay it because I would just be like, a, you know, too anxious to say something or to like bring it up or feel like I'm arguing with somebody. I'm super non-confrontational. And I imagine a lot of other people are like that when flying. So I could see how a lot of people would be swiping a credit card because they're being forced to do it and they're not like confrontational people. Something else I would love to say is I want to see someone actually measure Frontier's bag sizer at the gate. I want someone to go to the airport, get a tape measure and measure the gate sizer because I want to see how, what's the size. Like if they are alleging that the bag sizer is smaller than the inches that it should be, 
And we had the plaintiff go to Spirit Airlines and her bag fit perfectly, but it wouldn't fit in Frontier's bag sizer. I want to know what that bag sizer size is. I want to know, is this true? And I imagine if they go to court or anything like that, and this actually goes to trial, if that is what happens, I can only imagine like they are going to get the bag sizer from the airport and literally measure it with a tape measure because I can assume that it's not going to be the proper size. So yeah, I would be very curious if you are flying soon and you see a frontier gate, you should go measure it because I want to know. I'm curious seeing all of this happen, not only people having to pay for bags that actually literally fit, that I watch them just simply put the bag in and it fits, but I want to see people that their bag fits in like Spirit's bag size or doesn't fit in Frontiers. I want to see what it actually measures out to. So with all of that being said, whenever anything updates about this lawsuit, if they go to trial, if they settle, I would definitely keep you guys updated and make a follow-up video about kind of the outcome of this lawsuit. But what are your thoughts? Do you think that Frontier is scamming people? Do you think that by Frontier having that incentive for their gate agents, like, hey, if you catch someone at the gate with a bag that is too big and you charge them $100, you get $10 off of that. I wonder, like, do you guys think that is having some gate agents allege that someone's bag is too big, even though we're seeing that it's not, just that they could get the incentive of extra money. I could definitely see how some people would assume that, like, hey, they have an incentive for it. So we're gonna assume that people, unfortunately, that are working the gate may not be telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I would also love to know what y'all think about the bag sizer. Do you think it is of proper size? seeing that this person's bag fit in Spirit's bag sizer but didn't fit in Frontier's. Do you guys think that the measurements are wrong? Or do you think that Frontier's like in the clear, that nothing's wrong, their bag sizer's probably correct. If they tell you your bag doesn't fit, but it does, that you're in the wrong. Like, I'm just curious because as someone who like frequently flies, that would just make me like so anxious. Like I would never ever want to fly Frontier in my life. And I never will. Like after seeing all of this, I'm like, I will never fly frontier because it gives me like so much anxiety so let me know what y'all's thoughts after kind of like seeing what this lawsuit's about seeing the videos of people who's, whose bags actually fit in the bag sizer but still being charged the hundred dollars and what you think about the bag sizer itself i would be curious to know so if you made it this far in the video leave a little luggage emoji or a plane actually a plane leave a little plane emoji in the comments down below if you made it this far don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be an MLM fails video.